Well, there it is. Hi, guys, and welcome to a Witty Fitness Vlog. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and it's been requested, so I'll give you a little update on events. So, I've been slacking, I've got to be honest, a fair bit since last October. I have had a lot of financial stuff to get sorted, as well as coming across an injury. Nothing major, just slowed me down, and that combined with rolling up towards the Christmas period basically caused me to get a little bit lazy. So, I was kind of only going uh, to the gym sort of like once or twice a week, if that, sometimes slacking more, because I just had to spend all of my time getting other things done, and basically every every second counted to some degree. So so uh, I'm still working on it, but I'm on the tail end of what I'm working on, so I'm in a relaxed position to start going back, and speaking of which, I took it a bit more seriously last week. So the interesting thing is, is when I went back last week, it's not like the first time I've been back in months. I had been going sporadically every now and then, but I went last week, uh, Monday is like chest day, so that's why I do like push-ups and all that kind of well, I don't do push-ups at the gym, but uh, you can do push-ups because it's a chest workout, obviously. Um, but like dumbbell bar press, you know, dumbbell press. And uh, I typically work my way up to 26 kilograms in each hand. Sort of like weights, lift those up. And I normally do like four sets. Well, last Monday, I was looking at the 28 kilogram one. After doing like four sets of 26 kilograms and sets before that of like, normally I'd start off with like 10 kilograms, then 16 kilograms, then 22 kilograms, then 26 kilograms. Well, I thought I'd give it to 28 kilograms a grow. And uh, what normally happens is sometimes when I lift those 26 kilograms, I can't actually even get the first part done. That's the hardest bit really is you, you know, you pick up the weights, you lie down, and then it's pushing it back up as you're lying down and trying to do that. Sometimes it it will get stuck, and then you just kind of have to slowly let go, because you can't if you can't get past that fight, you ain't getting any further. So it was to my surprise I actually managed to do it with the 28 kilograms, and not only that I did 10 reps with it, so I was pretty proud of that, and I did my rest of my workout and was happy. So this week, as I typically am a bit of a sort of like amateur with these kind of weights and stuff, I'm pretty lazy, as you know. So I'm not taking it as seriously as I should be doing, but I'm still making progress. It's very slowly. It's not as super progress as I'd like if I was try-harding it completely, which is what I intended to do, but so many other things in life come up, so that's basically what always impacts us, I think, in our day-to-day -day lives, uh, trying to f achieve fitness goals is can they be achieved whilst trying to maintain the rest of your life? Uh, I think eventually I'll get there, but I've still got a lot of things in the near future to sort of like concern myself with before I can just sort of be like, yep, I can spend two hours just working out. Can't really do that just yet. But um, anyway, this week I, I do sort of like the same pattern. So Monday, chest, Tuesday, back, Wednesday, legs, Thursday, shoulders, and Friday, uh, arms. And then Saturday, if I do go on Saturdays, which I sometimes do, just kind of like overall aerobic style stuff, like just on the treadmill or the stepper, cardio, that kind of thing. So this week, I did 10 kilograms on Monday, 16 kilograms, 22 kilograms, and then I just skipped the 26s and went for the 28s, and ended up doing like the four sets. So basically, since last week... And I did the gym a few days, a couple of days at least last week, on chest and back. And anything else that I'm going to be doing, I basically upped the weights. And for anyone that does consistent workouts, that's a big step when you get to that point. Because you get so used to doing a certain weight. And even then when you're doing that weight, it, it knackers you to some degree, which is the idea. So the idea of going up an extra 7 kilograms or something like that is ludicrous. But you got to do it because that's how you make progress, right? So all of the rest of the machines and stuff like that that I would typically do, uh, I started going up another 7 kilograms, which is like the next step. So you just peg one lower. And I was managing it, so I was really quite happy with that. And uh, so far that's been going well, and I've been doing it 
I'm absolutely knackered this week. I'm probably not going to go to the gym tomorrow, which is Thursday, because that's shoulders, and I can do that at home anyway, that one. And I definitely need a rest. I am aching like all over, just constant aching. <sighs> Bloody back days always get me. Although the irony is, is this time it's not my back that's hurting from doing the back. It's more my biceps, of anything, because I up the weights, and I think because a lot of it is pulling stuff down, I had to use my biceps a lot more to get the weight actually down in the first place, because... I only weigh like about 64 kilograms or something like that. So when the weights I do at the moment might not necessarily be that much like more experienced uh, weightlifter and stuff like that. But on the machines and stuff like that, I'm typically doing three, what, two thirds of my weight. So I'm doing 41 kilograms now and I weigh like 60 odd kilograms. So that's typically what I'm doing now is a lot of the things I'm noticing I'm doing are basically roughly about two thirds of my actual weight which I think is pretty good. Um, yeah, so good progress there. Not sort of like looking super cut or lean or anything like that. But it's getting along. There was some, a couple of other things. There's definitely one thing I know I want to talk about, but I think there was one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, see if I can remind myself. Oh, yeah. No, that was pretty much it. Slacking, picking up. But on the subjects of cutting for those of you that don't know that's where you basically i think you just lose like a lot of body fat as much body fat as percentage as you can by eating lower amounts of calories per day so that way your abs show and all that kind of stuff i was looking at an article about that and someone's saying you know I, I, i'm trying to do 1600 calories a day i'm struggling a bit i keep wanting to eat is there any tips you guys have got and someone suggested cabbage and i think they suggested like boiling it and all that but i kind of like jokingly thought of the idea of bringing in a cabbage to work um, to see if I could sort of just eat it during the day at work. So it's like a big cabbage like this that I picked up at uh, Audi yesterday. I sort of like went shopping and I brought it in today <laughs> at work and I went into the kitchen, cut it up into little slices and this, dare I say, uh, filled up this. So what you're seeing here is all of that. And that might give you an indication as to how well I got on with this task. Believe it or not, I actually ate a little bit, a fair bit of it. I kept going at it, but I've probably got through only like that much. Whereas you see there's still like that much to go. And then a little bit on top. It's tough. It takes ages to eat. And it basically burns you whilst you're eating it. It's bizarre. I don't know what components of it are spicy or anything like that but I was actually kind of getting burnt at the roof of my mouth so I could only eat so much of it at a time and then oh, I just didn't quite feel right because the truth is it actually works because the idea of eating this cabbage is to is it satiate the appetite or at least qualm it I think I'm coming up with strange words basically you don't want to be hungry and it kind of works on that, but the irony is, is it does still leave you feeling hungry. But that's mostly because you're hungry for something that actually tastes good. Not because you're actually hungry, because it does sort of fill you up. Because I typically have like a turkey sandwich or something like that at work, which is quite simple. A uh, whole grain pit of bread with a slab of turkey steak that I cooked the other day, jammed in it. Nothing special, no ingredients, nothing like that, no condiments. Just slab that in there go for it. And I really struggled today. I had it much later than I normally would do. I had it right at the tail end of my work. And even then I was kind of forcing myself to have it because I knew I was going to get back home today and record some videos. And I wanted to crack on with that rather than being distracted by having to eat because I haven't got time. Like I say, I'm still on a bit of a tight time schedule right now. And uh, yeah, the cabbage kind of works, but I thought, I thought when I picked it up, I thought, I could do this, I could eat this, I've had lettuce before, cabbage is really difficult to eat a ton of, seriously, I could, I could, look how much is left, that is all filled up, and I had like that much off the top of that, absolutely ridiculous, so um, if you guys have heard about the cabbage, then let me know what you think about that, or if you haven't heard about it, just tell me how crazy I am, I am only doing it once. It is an experiment. I honestly thought I'd get much further through it, but I realised very early on, I was going, God, this is this is tough. And uh, <laughs> it just isn't going to work. 
Besides, with most veg and stuff like that, eventually I'm going to get around to getting a, a faster blender. I do have a blender, but it's super slow. Centrifugal bl blender, and you need to pop it in very slowly, one at a time. And it doesn't really work for things like kale and stuff like that, which I just want to shove into a blender and just drink it down and not think about it. You will be thinking about it afterwards because it's pretty hard to get that taste out of your mouth. But you know what I mean? Just get it out of the way. So, yeah, there's a little update for you on the fitness uh, vlogs. Uh, I'm not sure how often I'm going to keep these up and stuff like that, because obviously it's been quite sporadic, and there's been a fair gap since the last one, but it's that kind of thing where it's not really on a strict time schedule or anything like that. It's not like, stay tuned for next week's episode. It's just whenever I feel like it, or if I get pressured into it enough, then I'll give you a little update on the events. But to be honest, there isn't that much to speak of. I'm not, like, super ripped or anything like that at the moment. I'm getting there, but... I did slack a lot before Christmas and during Christmas, so I'm kind of making up for that, and then I can push forwards, I think, in the next few weeks to actually genuinely making some new progress. All right then, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.